nebyl by se že jste se nechal vyloučit. Možná byste mohl udělat pro nás víc, kdybyste zůstal členem společnosti. A jak se díváte na své působení mezi světky jehovovými s odstupem času? Co vám to dalo a co vám to vzalo? My parents were associated with the Watchtower organization before I was born. My father was baptized into the religion in 1913. I was born in the year 1922, so you can tell I'm 85 years old. When I graduated from high school in the year 1940, I decided to devote my entire time in the work of the organization. And over the years, I had many experiences. I experienced mob violence where Jehovah's Witnesses were attacked by individuals who consider themselves super patriots. I served as a missionary in the Caribbean for 20 years. I lived with people in their homes, ate their food, and I suffered various diseases of that area, including hepatitis and dengue fever. In the Dominican Republic, I had a personal interview with the dictator, Rafael Trujillo, and I knew before I went there but that people who disagreed with the dictator often just disappeared. Then in 1969, I received an invitation to go to Brooklyn, where the headquarters of the Watch Hour organization is located. And um, then after a few years, I was invited to become a member of the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses, which supervises their work in the entire world. The nine years that I spent on that supreme body changed my whole attitude about the religion. I could see that they were not really governed by the spirit of Jesus Christ, but everything was based upon organizational policy and tradition. So after a period of time, it came to the point where I could not conscientiously continue. When I was baptized in January 1st, 1939, I remember that as I was placed below the water, there was one thought in my mind that from now on, my life belongs to God through Christ. And I could not see being part of an organization or a governing body that took upon itself the role and the authority that belongs to Christ Jesus alone. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The Watchtower Society says, we agree. He is the way, but we are the way to him. Their publications actually give that idea to their followers that they can have a relationship with Jesus Christ only through that organization. They say, he is the truth, yes, but we are the channel, and all truth comes through us and through our organization. And he is the life, yes, but no one can gain life unless they affiliate with our organization. So I express myself as to my personal conscientious feelings in the meetings of the governing body. So in 1980, after I had spent all of 40 years of my full time in service to that organization, I separated therefrom. I have no regrets. I, because of my activity, I was focusing on the Bible and I personally did help many people to come to become interested in the Bible. What I found disappointing was that I was trying to help them to learn the Bible so that they could be directed to God and to Christ, and instead they were appropriated by an organization. When people ask me if I have any regrets, I say sometimes I feel that I regret that I didn't come to this realization about 10 years earlier, so that instead of being 58, I'd only be 48. But I say that if that had been the case, I wouldn't have had the experience of being on that governing body and uh, learning how it actually functions. So at the age of 58, my wife and I left the Brooklyn headquarters and had to start life all over again. We had no money and very few possessions, but I don't regret one bit what we've gone through because I have seen the evidence that when you put your faith in God, He does care for you.